Tonight, a 26-year-old man was killed overnight in a hit and run in the West Loop. Police say he was crossing the street at Washington and Green around 1 o'clock this morning when he was hit by a black Mercedes. WGN's Andrea Medina reports. Alexis Lopez is the general manager at the Face Foundry in West Loop. Not only does Lopez have a clear view of new developments in the neighborhood, but she also says she has a front row view of an ongoing problem. We see cars just going 30, 40 miles an hour, like completely missing the stop sign. And we like can count on our hands, like maybe even two hands, like every single day, how many people like just blow right through it. Lopez is frustrated by the way drivers speed and ignore stop signs near the intersection of Washington Boulevard and Green Street, describing there have been some close calls. Like, I mean, we'll have clients sitting in our waiting area that like see it happening and they're like, oh my God, that car just blew right through that stop sign. According to Chicago police, there was a deadly hit and run at the same intersection around one in the morning on Saturday. Police say witnesses saw a black Mercedes run through a stop sign when a 26 year old man was crossing the street. Police also say the driver never stopped to check on the victim and continued to drive eastbound on Washington. They go on to say the man suffered blunt force trauma to the whole body. He was taken to Stroger Hospital where he later died from his injuries. It's 100% unfortunate that that happened, but I mean, depending on what we're seeing out there, it doesn't surprise me, which is really sad to say. Hours after the incident, Race was crossing the same streets when she stopped before a vehicle came rushing through, saying she can't help but think how much worse it could have been for her. I don't know what I would do if I got hit because I, I don't think they would stop. She says it's reasons like this. She stays vigilant of her surroundings. Even when I'm walking, I'm still looking for the car, even though I know they're supposed to stop. Pedestrians have the right of way. Both believe permanent deterrents need to be placed at the intersection to change people's driving behaviors. It's a tight street with a lot of busy businesses that are on there, constantly getting deliveries and like people with Ubers getting dropped off. Maybe a stoplight or more cameras would probably suffice. In West Loop, Andrea Medina, WGN News.